thank him for it. Father God, we just want to thank you for your son, Lord. Thank you for the love that you showed. Thank you for your grace and your mercy, Lord. Asking you, Father, just to be with us in the service, Father. Ask you to touch each and every one of us, Lord. Father, let our spirits and our minds be renewed in your love. Father, we may show your grace to each and every one of us, Father. Father, we know you in a greater and greater way. We ask for your blessings, Father, on this service. Father, touch each voice, Father, that it may be a, a mighty praise to your name, Father. Hallelujah. For you are worthy in all things, Father. We're going to give you glory, and we're going to give you honor, Father, and we're going to give you praise. And these things we ask in your son's name, in Jesus' name, amen. amen. When I feel your healing power, love that you have for me. Come on. When I feel your healing power, your hands reach out to me. I'm overcome with a passion, Lord. The love that you have for me. The love that you have for me. One more time. When I feel your healing power. Overcome with your passion, Lord, the love that you have for me, the love that you have. I want you. I want you. I need you. I need your grace to every day. I love you. I'll seek you. You're in my Get out there. 
and give somebody a hug around the neck. Welcome them back into the house of God. Ask them how their week went. Ask them how their day went. Ask them how the family doing.
Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Glory to God. Glory. Thank you, Father God. Thank you. <laughs> Let your rivers flow today, Father God, in a new way, in a way that we have never seen before, Father, that we may leave this place changed, that we may leave this place renewed, Father God. We want to see a new thing in you today, Father God, a new thing in you. We want to go into a new place in you today, Father God. Anybody ready for the new today? Are you ready for the new wave of his presence? You ain't got to wait. All you got to do is just jump in. Let the poor man say, I am rich in him. Let the lost man say, Let the river flow. Let the 
Hallelujah. Let that river flow, Father, that we may see the signs and the wonders. <laughs> The signs and the wonders <laughs> that people make it saved, people make it healed, people make it delivered. But most of all, we want to see people get saved, amen, and come into the knowledge of Jesus Christ. He said that if I be lifted up, I would draw all men onto me. That's why we got to lift them up high, First Church. Y'all ready? Salvation spring up from the ground. Lord, rend the heavens and come down. Seek the lost and heal the lame. Jesus, bring glory to your name. Let all the brothers also home. All of creation waits and groans. Lord, we heard of your domain. Father, cross up, shout your name. Salvation spring up from the ground, Lord, rend the heavens and come down. Seek the lost and heal the lame, Jesus, bring glory to your name. Let all the prodigals go home, all of creation wakes and groans. Lord, we heard of your refrain, Father, close on and shout your name. Spring up from the ground, Lord, in the heavens and come down. Seek the lost and heal the lame. Jesus, bring glory to your name. Let all the prodigals go home, all of the ancient ways of Lord, we heard of your refrain. Father, close on the shout your name. Let the songs of the Lord, yes, Lord, rise among us. Let the joy of our King rise among us. Let it rise. Let the songs of the Lord, let the songs of the Lord rise among us. Let the songs of the Lord rise among us. Let the joy of our King rise among us. Let it rise. One more time, let the songs, let the songs. Songs of the Lord rise among us. Let the songs of the Lord rise among us. Let the joy of our King rise. 
Rise One more time. Let it rise. Let it rise. Let the songs of the Lord rise among us.
less today won't do, Father. We want more today, Father God. We want more today, Father. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Pour out your spirit. Pour out your spirit. Pour out your spirit. Let it rain. Let it rain. Let it rain. Let it rain. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Lord. 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 Have your way. Have your way, God. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, Father. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Have your way, God. Hallelujah. Just lift up your cry for church. Just lift up your cry. Just lift up your hunger. God responds to hunger. I'm telling you, just lift it up today. Just lift it up today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. You know, worship is here, you know. It's not something we have to make y'all do. It's just something you should automatically do. So I thank God today because he saved us all, you know. He drew us in by his love, his mercy, his grace. He accepted us right where we were. All for us to worship him today. Anybody come with a heart to worship this morning? Come with a heart to worship the true and living God. So let's just do it together as a body. Thank you, Father.
up. I wait here for your presence. You carry me through, Lord. I wait on you, Lord. I wait on you, Lord. I wait. Church, I want to invite everybody on down to the front. I want to invite everybody on down to the front. Sing their praise. 
I hunger and thirst for your righteousness, but it's only found one place. So take me into the holy of holies. Take me in by the blood of the Lamb. So take me in to the holy of holies. you 
Father, come on, come on, thank you, Father, thank you, Father God, thank you, Father, can everybody come to the front, please, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Mighty God. Everybody come on up to the front. Lift hands up. Worship just for a moment. Thank quickly. You, Jesus. <sighs> Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mighty God. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> Thank, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, mighty God. Whew, mighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Thank you Father. Thank you, Father. I want everyone to open up your mouth and begin to worship God out loud. Say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank if that's all you can do, I want you to do that for a moment. Thank you, 
If that's all you know how to do, just say, thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name, Father. Everybody, please lift up your voices and thank, if that's all you can do. Glory to your name, Father God. Glory to you. Woo, mighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There you go. Everybody, Thank just you, for a moment, keep doing the same thing. Thank you, Jesus. Just for another moment, lift your voices Thank up you, and Jesus. keep doing it. Oh, I worship you, Father. <clears throat> I magnify your name, Father. Whew. You are Thank worthy, you, Father. Jesus. You are worthy, Father God. <clears throat> Thank you, mighty you are God. Worthy, Father God. Just for another moment, Glory lift your hands up and just keep Lord. worshiping him. Glory to your name. Call out on his name just for a minute. Glory to your name, Father. Call out on his name just for a minute. Glory to your name, Lord. We magnify Just for a moment. Jesus. Just for a moment. Keep doing it just for another moment. You are worthy to be praised, God. You are worthy to be worshiped, Father. Just for another we moment. We love you today, Father God. We love you today, Father. <clears throat> we love you, Lord. You guys that are on the platform, you're leaders. Open your mouth Hallelujah, Father. and get leading. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Father. Jesus. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father God. Just for another moment. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Just for another moment. Thank you, Lord. <coughs> Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the praises Thank of you, God Father. enter this house. Thank you, Father. Let the worship of God enter this house. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, mighty Let God. All is within us this morning worship you thank you father god. let my spirit cry out to you mighty god let all flesh die today lord god let us worship you in spirit and in truth mighty god all that is within us all that is within us all that is within us Mighty you God, we, thank we you for worship you, Lord God. Thank you for the blood that we was shed, Father. We love you, Father. Father. Hallelujah. We love you, mighty God. Thank you for your freedom, Father. <laughs> thank you, thank Jesus. You freedom, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, for your freedom, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your freedom, Father. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Everyone stand to your feet, please, and everybody grab hands. Everybody grab hands. Everybody grab hands, please. Not on the stage. Grab hands for a moment. Now I want you to begin to thank Jesus out loud. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. A few more times, begin to thank him for a minute. Thank you, Father God. A few more times, begin to thank him for a second. <clears throat> Let all that weight fall off you. Let it fall off you. Let the world fall off you. Yes, Lord. And just thank him. Yes, Lord. Thank him. Freedom. Thank him. Yes, Lord. Thank him. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Just for another moment. Hallelujah. Just for another moment. Hallelujah. Just for another moment. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, my.
mighty God. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, mighty God. <laughs> You're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Start walking Thank around up here praying in the Holy Spirit, will you? Thank Start walking you around praying in the Holy God. Spirit. Thank you for your freedom, God. Thank you for your Come freedom. on, just for another minute. Thank you for your freedom, God. Thank you for your freedom, God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. 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 What chord is that? That's free.
Jesus, stand still. Just, whew, mighty God. Mm, mm, mm. Jesus. 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 Mighty God. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, One prophecy, I can feel it. Who's got it? <coughs> Cheer it up. said that some of us has been in the wilderness but he's getting ready to pull us right out of the wilderness pull us right out of the wilderness pull us right out of the wilderness and rekindle that fire that we once had to serve him I hear him saying he's bringing us right out of the wilderness right out of the wilderness and setting us on fire we have to fall in love with him once again church to God. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You can be seated. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, go ahead, brother. Go right ahead. <coughs> Hey, bro, did you get some new shoes? No. No. <laughs> Babies are bright. Thank <laughs> <laughs> <Are> you. <yours? laughs> Whoo! <clears throat> How you doing there? What do you do with my Bible? Man? There it is. <laughs> Keep your eyes closed for a minute. Lift your hands up. I thought in my spirit I could feel somebody had never given a prophecy before. I was about ready to give one. Just sit there with your hands lifted up just for a moment. See if it happens.
Now, you guys cold or you warm? <clears throat> huh? Speak up, can't hear you. <clears throat> You're hot? You're hot. You're just right? Well, it's 73, so that's not too bad, <clears throat> is it? Psalms 51. Do you like Psalms? <clears throat> you do? Is this fresh water? Nothing stale. <clears throat> Psalms 51. To the chief. Not yet. Psalms 51. Let's see, I think it's called the prayer of repentance, David's repentance. <clears throat> After being confronted for what he did. <clears throat> I want you to just sit and listen to this message. To just, just sit and listen to it. You pull it up on the internet, <clears throat> let it touch you. David was crying out in David's life. He normally cried out for justice. But then all of a sudden, he began to cry out for mercy. He began to change. Psalms 51, starting with verse 1. Go slowly, please. To the chief musician, a psalm of David. When Nathan Thank the you, Jesus. prophet came unto him after he had gone Nathan in. Nathan the prophet. Bathsheba, have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Verse 2. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee, thee only, have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest. Behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness, that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy free spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from blood guilt guiltiness, O God, and thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. For thou desirest not sacrifice, else would I give it. Thou delightest not in burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken spirit and a contrite heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. Do good in thy good pleasure unto Zion. Build thou the walls of Jerusalem. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness, with burnt offering and whole burnt offering. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. <clears throat> If you know the story of David, <clears throat> he sees a woman that he wanted, but there was something in the way to get to the woman, and that was the husband, Uriah the Hittite. Sends him to the front lines, has him killed. 
David was guilty of two sins, adultery and murder. And I was just kind of glancing through the Psalms the other day and God stopped me in the middle of it. And Jackie, you know what he said to me? He said, this is the church. This is where the church is at. They've committed spiritual adultery and they've allowed murder to go across the land. They're guilty. The church, the body of Christ is guilty. David as a young man would cry out to God, God, bring your swift justice. Let your justice be done. As a young man. As an older man, he cried out for mercy. God, give your mercy. Psalm says, create in me a right heart. David, God said, David's a man after my own heart. Psalms 34 and 18, if you could read that, please. Everyone just stay still. Psalms 34 and 18. <clears throat> the Lord is nigh unto them that are, are of a broken heart, and save us such as be of a contrite spirit. Isaiah 57, 57 15. <clears throat> For thus saith the high and lofty one that inhabiteth eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy place with him also that is of a contrite and humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. Can I get you to read that again, please? That's, that scripture is... For <clears throat> thus saith... The high and lofty one that inhabiteth eternity. God. Whose name is holy. God. I dwell in the high and holy place. Yes, he does. With him also that is of a contrite and humble spirit. Read that again. With him. With him also that is of a contrite and humble spirit. I dwell in the holy place. To with him. That is of contrite and humble spirit. To revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. David cried this. And you can hear it in Psalms as you read that 51. David cried, my sins was always before me. They stayed before him. He repented. He repented. His sins were before him. And my sin is against God. My sin that I have committed, he said, is against God. David said, I've committed adultery by the prophet coming to his door. He said, I've committed adultery and I've committed murder. He said, my sin is always in my face, but my sin was against God, against your commandments. David, my heart must be cleansed and my relationship with the Holy Spirit to be renewed. David said, my heart must be cleansed and my relationship with the Holy Spirit to be restored. Church, church, church. Mm. We've placed everything in front of God. Made the word of God into a money-getting scheme. You can take scripture and make it say anything you want it to say. Anything at all. He, David... He, David, lost the joy of the Holy Spirit. He said, I want it back. I want it back. He, David, knew God was not satisfied with sacrifices. He cries out and he says, God's only happy with a broken heart and a contrite, or a broken spirit and a contrite heart. David, David, the psalmist, the sweet psalmist. David that would worship before Saul and demon power would leave the area. David, the mighty man of valor. David, a giant killer. David, a man called after God's heart. The prayer of repentance, Psalms 51. David is the model of repentance. I have sinned against you, O Lord, mighty God. I have sinned against you. In the New Testament, we find out that when you commit adultery, you sin against your own body. In Samuel 12, 13, if you would turn that, please. <clears throat> Samuel 12, 2 Samuel 12, 13. Nathan 
responds to David. And David said unto Nathan, I have sinned against the Lord. And Nathan said unto David, The Lord also has put away thy sin. Thou shalt not die. Nathan responds immediately. Immediately. The Lord also has put away your sin, so you do not die. As you read all through Psalms, Every book in Psalms, if you read in the Old Testament and the New Testament, all that God is saying to the church is I need you to have a heart that seeks after me. A heart that's after me. Not the world. We've replaced the power of God with gifts. We have placed God with everything other than our hearts. Lift your hands, please. With your eyes closed. We have replaced God with everything but our heart. And God is crying out to the church, crying out to the church. Come back to me with a broken, contrite spirit. Come back to me. It's like he's saying to David, I'm sending a prophet, to speak to the church. Come back to me and lay down your spiritual adultery and seek after me like you have never sought before. And I will turn my hand. I will be your deliverer, Psalm 70. I will be your defender, Psalms 3. I will be your protector, Psalms 9. I will cleanse you, Psalm 66. I will restore you, Psalms 18. I will guide you, Psalms 48. I will cover you again, saith the Lord, Psalms 140. I will be a giver, and I will not take from you if you'll give me your heart, saith God. The Bible says that sin, sin breaks the heart. It brings grief. God breaking the heart. God breaking the heart brings a contrite spirit. God breaking the heart brings healing, brings love, brings increase, brings joy, brings restoration. When sin breaks the heart, it brings grief, wounding spirit, a wounded spirit, a hurt spirit, a weak spirit. And it fills you with hatred. Father God, as we stand before you and it seems like the whole nation is under rebellion. It's filled with hatred. Lust of other things. And Father God, you stand before us and you tell us, the body of Christ, that we have to stand as a light before the world. And we have to let our light shine. And Father, you tell us, Lord, Father God, to speak repentance to the world because they're dying. And every word that you have said is true. You told Noah, you sent a flood. You said in the last day there would be fire. And you spoke to Sodom and Gomorrah with vengeance. You spoke to Sodom and Gomorrah with vengeance. Father, we stand before a whole nation that is unrepentant. They're filled with rebellion, condemnation. We speak to our fathers and our mothers if they were nothing. We brought rebellion against you, Father God. And you said in the last day, rebellion would be stomped down. Father God, we stand before you as men and women of God, Lord Father, with a heart that is after you and we seek after you, Lord Father God. And we would ask, Lord Father, that you would fill our hearts today. That would we would be warriors, Lord Father God, not in the natural but in the spirit realm. You told us to put on the armor of God so we could stand against the wiles of the devil. And you said, resist him, Lord Father God. And yet some cry out, Lord Father, why are the sinful prospering why is a nation prospering that is so filled 
with idolatry and witchcraft. You speak to us and you tell us to break down the rebellion, Lord Father God, with prayer. And bring into your house, Lord Father God, and throw out the adulterated spirit, Lord Father, spiritual adultery. And bring back into your house a heart that's hungry after you. A heart that seeks after you and seeks after righteousness. Father God, we strive for your presence, Lord God. We want you to enter into our, our, our services, our hearts, Lord Father God. And remove the rebellion, Lord Father God. Touch those, Lord Father God, today, Lord God, that are on the path, Lord Father, to fall to the wrong side. That are riding the fence or could come over all the way. Father God, you said in Romans 10, 9 and 10, Lord Father God, that anyone confesses that Jesus is Lord and you told us to, to, to say that, to call those that are dying into repentance, Lord Father God. Father, you said your name is above every name, that it's your name, every demon power must bow and confess that you are Lord at even the mention of your name. Father, we pray in the last day, Lord, Father God, that we would have not just the courage, but the spiritual strength, Lord, Father God, to go on towards that call in you, that high call in you. Those that are crying out, Lord, Father, for the movement of your spirit, Lord, Father, in deliverance, I would ask that you deliver everyone that is under the sound of my voice or listening, Lord, Father, on the internet. I ask that you deliver them this day, Lord, Father. From demonic hold, Lord Father God, no matter what is happening in their life, I'd ask that you deliver them today. That the power of God would break the power that holds them. Father, mighty God, you said in the last day there would be a falling away from your house. A falling away, a great falling away. And we're crying out for revival. Revival. We are crying out for revival, Father God, to revive the lost. But first, you must re revive the church. Father God, I'd ask that your anointing would be so strong, Father God, in this last hour that the hearts of the children would turn back to the fathers. Father, mighty God, we've raised a whole generation of children that do not know you. A whole generation of children that do not know you. Father God, first you have to start with the church. The church. The church has to be started with first. Mighty God, you said in Scripture, you're a jealous God. Jealous. Jealous God. Jealous God. Now, mighty God, you've asked the church to fight the biggest demon that has ever been shown in history. The perverted internet. And we have men all across the country that's dying to it. Women that's dying to it. You said, Father God, in the book of Psalms, if we look upon a woman, even to lust after her, we've committed adultery. No matter where it's at. 
We've committed it in our hearts. God, give us the heart that David had. He said, I've sinned against you, mighty God, not against anyone else but you. Boy, if the church had that heart. Keep your eyes closed for a moment, please. I'm going to open up the altar just for a moment. If you'd like to come down and bow down to the altar, you just go right ahead and do it for a moment. No one's going to think that you've committed anything. Just if you'd like to do that, just come on down right now before I finish. Immediately. just for a moment. You can't get in your car and run from it. It follows you. You can't take off and go somewhere else. It follows you. You can hear all the preaching you want to hear. You can hear all the teaching you want to hear. But until you make up the mind to serve God, it will not work. We have to have more than a heart to serve him. You have to have the mind to serve him. The mind to serve God. Father, I feel such a presence on this, on your word, on Psalms 51. Such a presence on it. Your word is powerful and it cuts like a two-edged sword. Cuts us like a two-edged sword. As we stand here just for a moment, please, just stay still. I don't want you to go here. I'm just going to say some things. In Psalms 52, it talks about the end of the wicked, but then it talks about the peace of the godly. The enemy comes in and steals your peace. And I have written down here, do not make your sin bigger than God. <clears throat> Somebody say that back to me. <clears throat> say it again. <laughs> As they st sit here at the altar, I want you to uh, flip up. Can you flip this up? Psalm 70 and 5. If you could flip that up, please. <laughs> Jesus, mighty God, mighty God. Go ahead, Jackie. But I am poor and needy. Make haste unto me, O God. Thou art my help and my deliverer. O Lord, make no tarrying. 
Psalm 66 and 10, if you could put that up there. <clears throat> Psalm 66 and 10. For thou, O God, hast proved us. Thou hast tried us as silver is tried. Could you read that again, please? For thou, O God, hast proved us. Thou hast tried us as silver is tried. Psalms 1850. Great deliverance giveth he to his king, and showeth mercy to his anointed, to David, and to his seed forevermore. Could you read that one more time, please? Great deliverance giveth he to his king, and showeth mercy to his anointed, to David, and to his seed forevermore. Psalms 140 and 7. <laughs> O God the Lord, the strength of my salvation, thou hast covered my head in the day of battle. Mine's covered, covered his mind in the day of battle. I've covered your mind in the day of battle, is the way that should read. Psalms 86 and 5. <clears throat> Psalms 86 and 5. <clears throat> For thou, Lord, art good and ready to forgive, and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Father, mighty God, you said when David was young, he called for justice, swift justice. But as he got older, he would begin to cry out for mercy. Father, the body of Christ needs us, needs mercy towards each other, needs to show each other grace. Strengthen each other and hold each other up. That we do not get weary in well-doing. That we do not get weary in well-doing. For soon we shall re reap the harvest. Mighty God. <clears throat> Thank you, Father God. Psalms 1830, did you read that? <clears throat> you may have. No, you didn't. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust in him. Again, please. <clears throat> As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is the buckler to all those that trust in him. Please, with eyes closed, <coughs> eyes closed, I want to call out two things. <coughs> I've been feeling this heavily in the services. <coughs> Unforgiveness. That's a word we sling out all the time, but it'll kill you dead. And the people you're holding it against probably don't even know it. <coughs> If you're harboring unforgiveness, I want you to step to the center of the aisle, please. If you have something that's holding you and you cannot break free, I want you to stand in the center of the aisle, please. I want to come down and pray with you. Jack, you remember Nikki? <clears throat> yeah? For one year, one year, she laid on this platform every service. The power of God would hit her. For one year until she got delivered. Think about that. <clears throat> Buddy, I'll tell you, at that point in time, the power of God was so strong. <clears throat> And you're here for, <coughs> excuse me, for what reason? Hmm? Both of them? And I, this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay my hand on you. This is going to be the beginning of healing. You ready to release it? Okay, so I want you to say that with me. Say, Father, Father I'm being released today. Being released. I've sinned, I've sinned. By, holding it. by holding it. And I'd ask for your release right now in Jesus' name. 
Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Beginning of healing today. Yes. <clears throat> and that thing, I tell you, brother, it's got a grip on you. And it, and it, it holds you and it's choking you to death, man. It's the beginning of healing today. I want you to say this with me. Say, Father, Father I, ask for, for your forgiveness. I ask for your forgiveness. I've held this. I've held this. Harvarded it. I've kept it. Harvarded it. Harvarded and kept it. And I'm... I want it released right now. I want it released right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Who the sun sets free. Who the sun sets free. Is free indeed. Is free indeed. Now I want you to repeat after me. Father. Father. I speak directly to this unforgiveness. I speak directly to the unforgiveness. You have no more hold on me. You have no more hold on God me. God has set me free this morning. God has set me free this morning. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you. Let <clears throat> me slip right through here. Yes? Both. Both. Slip hands up. I want you to repeat after me. Say, Father, I need to repent today. Father, I need to repent today. I've held both those. I've held both those. And I need to be released from them. And I speak to them right now. In Jesus' mighty name. And I speak the word over it. Who the Son sets free is free indeed. Father, I'd ask that your healing begin right now in the name of Jesus. That the walk with you begins right now through healing, Lord Father. A broken and contrite spirit, Lord Father God. A broken and contrite spirit, Lord Father God. This thing cannot have a hold on her any longer in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus. Jesus' mighty name. We thank you for it, Father God. We thank you for it, mighty God. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> yes, sir. Unforgiveness. Would you take them over here? I'll just give them a toss. <clears throat> yep. <clears throat> Lift your hands up. Now, God's telling me to do this a different way. <clears throat> hey, brother, you got a tag on your shirt. <clears throat> <clears throat> Lift your hands up. God's t telling me to do this a different way. Unforgiveness is a powerful force. It's powerful. It's powerful. It can choke you. It can kill you. I break its authority right now in Jesus' mighty name. I break its authority. I break its authority. <clears throat> its authority. <clears throat> yes. Yes, Father God. Father, mighty God. Won't you speak after me, please? Say, Father. Father. I speak to unforgiveness. I speak to unforgiveness. And I break its authority. I break its authority. And its power. And its power with, the word of God. with the word of God. I, I am, free this am free this morning. This thing will have no more power over me. This thing has no more power over I have me. power over it. I, have power over it. I, am I am anointed. And the anointing, and the anointing destroys, the destroys the yoke. Jesus Jeez. mighty name. Woo. <laughs> Father mighty God. Hang on her just a minute there, brother. <clears throat> Woo. <clears throat> Man, I had electricity shoot right through me. <clears throat> Watch her just a second. Mm. Yes. Glory to God. Repeat, it. Repeat after me, please. Father, come to you in the name of Jesus. And I quote, 1 Peter 2.24 that by your stripes I've been made whole. Father, I speak to these two powers that have held my spirit down or captive who the sun sets free is free indeed. This is the beginning of my restoration. This is the beginning of my healing. In Jesus' mighty name, I break that power, Lord Father, mighty God, and I am in agreement with her, Lord Father, and I loose the power of the living God in her, Lord Father God, right now in Jesus' name. Father, let the anointing flow through her. The anointing destroys the yoke, Lord Father, mighty God, and let her see herself today with spiritual eyes, Lord God. She has been delivered from those two powers in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord God. <clears throat> yes, ma'am. I'm forgiving some bitterness from my past. <clears throat> Come up here a little bit closer, would you? Give your hands up, please. That, those, those things are so hard to get rid of. I'm telling you they are. You've got to work on them constantly. But God has set you free and delivered you this morning. 
You made a step towards God for those two powers that fight against each other or fight the spirit. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father God. Yes, ma'am. Release from my husband. Hold on me back. Lift your hands up. <clears throat> that's a power. That's oh, glory to God. Father, Mike, to God, in the name of Jesus, Father God, you sent your Holy Spirit to not just deliver us, Lord Father, but to give us joy. You sent your Holy Spirit to help set us free, Lord Father God, and I pray over her mind, Lord Father, her body and her spirit, Lord Father, Mike, to God, and I pray for freedom right now. I pray for freedom right now as I speak, Lord Father, Mike, to God, that she sees herself as not captive but one that delivers the captives, Lord Father, mighty God. Not captive, but one that delivers the captives, Lord Father. Let your anointing move on her, Lord Father, right now in the name of Jesus. And let your power flood her body right now in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. <clears throat> um, I've struggled with witchcraft a lot. And I did repent quite a bit this morning for rebellion. I didn't realize I was so much. But then, um, I guess, too touchy and... Let your hands up. Glory to God. Father, thank you for your anointing, Lord Father God. Thank you for your anointing that destroys the yoke. Two or three together, there you're in our midst. Thank you for the power of deliverance, Lord Father God. You sent your Holy Spirit to deliver us, Father God, to deliver our minds, Lord Father. You sent your word to deliver our minds because we have the mind of Christ right in our hands. And you said, who the sun sets free is free indeed. I speak the power of God over her right now, Lord, Father God. As she her, sees herself as not what she was or what she has done, but she sees herself as delivered, Lord, Father God. And move her into her gift, Lord, Father, mighty God. And lay hands on her that that gift would come forth, Lord, Father God, out of darkness into light, Lord, Father, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, thank you for your power, Father God. <clears throat> That thing's ugly. Lift your hands up and pray for you. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I want you to speak with me. Say, Father, Father I, I freely, freely loose, loose unforgiveness. unforgiveness. It's my will right now to break that power. It's my will right now. In Jesus' name, in Jesus I, I am, am free. free. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> Okay, come on up. Why don't you just hit the altar for a minute, will you? <clears throat> Sit there with your hands lifted up for a moment. Just worship the Lord just for a second. I think I feel prophecy coming. <clears throat> Actually, I feel the power of God for healing right now. Not physical, or not spiritual healing, not uh, 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 spiritual healing, but, but I feel a physical healing on my hands right now. <clears throat> Glory to God. Glory to the Lord. Anybody in here have problems here with their ears? Anybody in here have problems with their heart? I want you to come up here quickly. Come quickly. <clears throat> heart, ears. <clears throat> come quickly. <clears throat> heart and ears. Jackie, come quick. Mighty God. Thank you. Agreement. Now, what? Here or here? Heart. You believe, yep, left. You believe God can heal you? You believe in laying on hands, right? Have you ever been healed before? Now, you've seen people healed. Now, stop and think about it. You've seen people healed. By lay, you laid your hands on them. You've seen them healed. But have you ever been healed? <clears throat> um, I know you've seen people healed. Like my it's happening still, right now. Lift your hands up. It's happening right now. Have you, have you ever been healed? Physically or like? Physically. <clears throat> not spiritually. 
I've had the presence of God affect me to the point where I could see stuff was getting better, but. Whew. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, God, I'm glad we didn't mess up. We could have messed up just then, big time. <clears throat> have a seat. God can heal you? You believe the anointing is going through you right now to be healed? We're in total agreement with you, brother. Total agreement. Thank you, Father God. Now, is it your heart that was skipping the beat? Is that what it does? Skips a beat? Who's, who skips the beat? You do? The rest of you, come up here. Your heart skips a beat like <clears throat> yours does? <clears throat> no, it's a lot worse than that. What, 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 what do you mean? What, I'm just explaining. Whoa. I don't even know what's Stand going still. On. Lift your hands up. <laughs> hold on, hold on. No, no, no. Wait, wait. wait. We got to have. You want healing, right? Mm. No. <laughs> what does it do? <clears throat> I can't explain it. There's a lot of different symptoms. Does it skip beats? It skip beats too. Lay your hand right there on her chest, Jackie. And say in Jesus' name, Jesus. <clears throat> we believe in healing. That's good, Jackie. <clears throat> That's good. <clears throat> We're just the delivery boys. <clears throat> Lift your hands up. <clears throat> yes. Now you're both. Now yours does skip a beat, right? Yeah. Lay your hand on his chest. And you believe God can heal you, right? Oh, I know. You believe it and lay it on hands, right? I know it. I believe it. Okay, you believe you're being healed right now. Because the Bible says, lay hands on the sick and they shall... Recover. Re what? Recover. They shall... What? Be healed. Be re recover. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father God. In Jesus' name. Walk down there just for a second, brother. I feel the power of God very strong. Why? You know, brother, I'm going to have to have you teach one service while I'm gone. I just got caught it. <coughs> I just got a hold of it. <coughs> Point up here, guys. What are you doing? Sleeping? <coughs> Wake up. You do what? They call them PVCs. What's that? That's PVC is pipe you put together. Well, not this one. <laughs> this pipe is not together. Roger, will you run to my office on my desk and grab my handkerchief? <coughs> Lift your hands up. Now, you're here for what reason? <clears throat> because, man, I throw a lot of heartbeats. Rapid heartbeats? Yeah, rapid heartbeats. Rapid heartbeats? Yeah. And you said you went to the doctor, right? Yeah, I, I go up to have surgery on the 23rd. Surgery for what? Um, because they say I have blockage and they have to put a stent in. Oh. Hey, stand up right there. Lord, touch your back right now. Stand, lift your hands up. Lift your hands up. Whew, mighty God. Hey, look, watch her. Move around a little bit. God, I felt the anointing on you. You got the gift of prophecy. You gave it this morning, right? Why don't you let the healing power of God flow through your body? Walk around for a minute. You guys are going to be still just for a second. Walk around just a little bit, Team Jackson. <laughs> now, you believe God can heal you? Believe if we lay hands on you? You'll be healed, right? You do, you do believe that? Yeah. Lay hand on you. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for it, Father God. Thank you for the healing power that you sent through Calvary, Father God. You sent your word and you said it's our bread. It's our healing bread. Thank you for it. In Jesus' mighty name. Woo, Jesus. <clears throat> just walk around up here just for a minute. I felt heat go right through you. Do you remember, listen, I got a question. Do you remember Sister Bosquez? Yes. You do? 
I was a little bitty boy about this big, <laughs> little bitty kid, five, six, seven years old. She'd take me home with her every Sunday and feed me hot tamales. They were good. Oh, God, sister. She took the recipe with her, I'm telling you. <laughs> God, were they good. <clears throat> oh, yeah. <clears throat> That's what we're praying on. Ears. Put your hand on his ear. This one? Yeah. You believe God? Oh. Both of them? Oh, yeah. Go around behind him and do it. <clears throat> you believe God can heal you? Oh, yeah. Thank you, Father God, for your healing power, Lord, Father, mighty God. This was such a powerful thing in your ministry, Lord God. You'd lay hands on eyes. They'd open. Ears, they'd come unplugged, Lord Father, mighty God. The ringing would stop, Lord Father God. Everything would stop in the ears, Lord Father, when you laid hands upon them. And then you sent us, Lord Father, to do your work. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you. Amen. Glory to God. Love you, buddy. That's a good brother right there. <clears throat> yes, ma'am. Go around behind, lay your hands on her ears, both ears. Bo okay, ears first. You believe God can heal you? Thank you for your healing power right now, Father God. Thank you for your healing power, mighty God. It's your anointing that destroys the yoke. Okay, come around, Jackie, and lay your hand on her chest where her heart would be a little bit higher, maybe. <clears throat> Father, mighty God, thank you for your healing power. Thank you for your anointing that destroys, does not break, destroys the yoke. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. <coughs> yes. What's wrong with them? Nothing? Huh? You know, the Bible calls Jesus the great physician. The reason it calls him the great physician is because it's, it's much greater to be healed spiritually than physically. Lay your hands on your ears. Glory to God. Thank you for your healing power, Lord Father, mighty God, in Jesus' mighty name. Moving through the whole family, Lord Father God, and bringing forth healing in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for your power and your anointing. <clears throat> yes, ma'am. <clears throat> Whew. Brother. <coughs> Why? Do you drink energy drinks? No. Coffee? What do you drink? It's got caffeine in it. A lot of coffee? No, uh, <laughs> Lift your hands up. Put your hand on your chest right there. Say this with me. Say, by, by his, stripes, his stripes, you've been made whole. Been made in Jesus' name. In Jesus go, you've been made whole. <coughs> Next. Yes. Oh, my ear club up. It is? Yeah. Put your hands on her ears. Thank you for your healing power, Lord Father, mighty God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for your anointing that destroys the yoke. By your stripes we've been made whole in Jesus' name. Lift your hands up. Walk away. Say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> I've just been really worried about him. Oh, you want to stand like in proxy for him? Is that what you're saying? Kind of stand in between so the Lord will touch him? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Exactly. So you, would, you wouldn't rather send the word? You just kind of want to stand there in proxy for him? Or would you rather send the word? I'd rather send it to Lay your hand on his chest. <clears throat> Father, we send your word. You sent your word to heal us, and we send your word to heal him, Lord, Father, and touch him right now. In Jesus' mighty name, Father God. Ooh. In Jesus' mighty name. Oh, uh, ho, 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 ho. You're mobile. The Holy Spirit's telling me this right now. You're mobile. God has not really made you attached to anything. Not really. You stop and think about it. All your life, you've not been attached to anything. Couch to couch, you've not been attached to anything. So you, God made you mobile so he can move you at will. He can send you here to minister, go over there and minister, do the, finish that book, brother. Or are you going to miss the call of God? <clears throat> Next. How you doing? Stand up and lift your hands up. <clears throat> Come on up here, brother. He needs, he needs to pray over him real quick. <clears throat> you just got healed? Turn around and put your hands on his mind. <clears throat> oh, 
Lucifer, 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 yeah, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, mighty God. <coughs> Put your hands up there and let's just worship just for a second before we do communion. Just worship the Lord just for a split second before we do communion. Communion, communion, communion. Just for a second. Just for a second. <clears throat> what you guys want? I'm getting the weirdest thing in my spirit right now. Is anybody in here got a, you have, do you have a home, apartment, you're around something that's got a pool? A pool? Water pool? You, you do. Huh? I don't think it's you. You do? Stand up. You do? Stand up, lift your hands up. I don't know which one it is. You don't have kids. You got kids? Jackie, point at them and pray over their kids right now. I don't know how they could get in there, but I'm telling you right now, God just told me to pray over them. Is it making sense to either one of you? Could your kids get in that pool area? All three of you? All right, just pray over them just for a second. <clears throat> Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Now, just sit there a minute. Just everybody, just keep your hands lifted just for a second. I'm getting something else in my spirit. This is not you. This is, what I'm calling out right now is not you. It's someone that's in your circle real close to you right around. And it's, uh, uh, I want to call this out. It's pot. Who is this? They're right, they're close to you. They're right around you. There could be more than, there could be a half dozen of you. <clears throat> you? Tina, come right out here, hon. <clears throat> come right down here. <clears throat> now, it's close to you. Who is it? <clears throat> Can you say? It's my daughter. Yes. My two grandsons. Yes. Family oh, boy. <clears throat> Well, the new thing is this now. Here's the new catch to this. When you tell them it's wrong, they say, oh, it's the herb that God put on the earth. Oh, yeah. But your reply would be what? Not for you to use. No. Your reply should be what? The earth was corrupted. Yes. It was never meant to be that way. When Adam sinned, it corrupted everything. Lift your hands up. <clears throat> hands up. Now, whoever it is, just pray over them real quick. Uh, we did this about two and a half years ago. And we had three people come in and say that, that they, whew, whoever you were, they were coming up for prayer for got healed just like that. <clears throat> prayer, 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 prayer. Now ask the Holy Spirit to bring conviction on them. Now, I'm getting this in my head real quick. Just hold on. Give me just another second. Is anybody in here work or have someone close to you that works with trees? Trees. Trees. Any, anybody work with trees? You do? No. Anybody? Who is it? You. Huh? Come up here. <clears throat> You've been cutting trees, what? For the last week? You climb up in the tree to cut them? And you were going to cut trees this next week? Today? Well, brother, if we wouldn't have called this up, you wouldn't be here Monday. Put your hands on him, pray for him. If you were going to cut trees today, <clears throat> something wasn't going to be right. I'm telling you right now, brother. <laughs> Pray over him, pray over him, pray over him a minute. Cover him with the blood of Jesus. Don't let that put fear on you. You go cut your trees now. <coughs> hands lifted up, please. Everybody, whole room, lift your hands up. Anybody have a grandfather? This is a grandfather. It could have spread down to the dead. I don't think it made it that far. 
grandfather that was in, uh, what's those things those, um, that men get into, those um, <coughs> clubs? Oh, like Older people Mason's are in. Like Mason or something like that? Yeah. Do you even know that? He was in what? He was in Mason. God says that's the reason you're cursed. That's the reason everything falls apart when it gets around you and you're wondering, God, why is this not going right? Jack, here, come on up here. God, she's going to lay her hands on you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <clears throat> that thing travels from right down generation to generation and people don't even know it. Right. They don't even understand it. And it just goes from generation to generation and people say, well, why is this happening? I'm blessed of God. You're going to watch. Today when she puts her hands on you, things are going to begin to turn around. Even in your kids. <clears throat> Even in your kids, your children. Mighty God. Mighty God. Does anybody have an educator in their family? Teacher. Anybody got a teacher in their family? <clears throat> oh, my words. <clears throat> I got to figure out which one it is. Come down here. Let me look at you. I'll be able to tell you who it is. <clears throat> Prophesying parts. I mean, <clears throat> sometimes you only get parts. <clears throat> Now, is this a uh, um, uh, younger? Is any of them with mental patients, mentally challenged? Huh? Okay, are they younger? Younger. Yeah, younger students. Lift hands up if that's, if that's who you are. The rest of you can have a seat. <clears throat> younger, right? <clears throat> Move in. Oh, you do? What do you teach? In school? Yeah. So are you, is it you that God is going to start moving out to Maybe. go to every, yep. Believe, Lift your hands up. Lift your hands up there. Receive it right now in Jesus' name. The door's being opened. Yep, you're the one. You're the one. Receive it. Uh-oh. So she speaks Spanish? Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> what do you think about that? Spanish. <clears throat> Say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Okay, now communion time. I don't have any more. <clears throat> so it's her that's God speaking to. <clears throat> and you're not attached to anything either, are you? Where did she go? Man, yeah. You got a lot of attachments or no? Huh? What? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Communion time. <coughs> That'll work. <laughs> if you have made Jesus, Jesus the Lord of your life, and you have a sincere heart and ask forgiveness, <coughs> you may come up now to receive communion. Communion.
cut a branch and a power line broke and sparks went everywhere. <clears throat> I told him back, I said, what was going to happen was going to be much worse than that. You know, doing uh, praise and worship. When we when we're in praise and worship, the songs minister to us, and that's what ushers in the spirit. And this this song has been in my heart since we were singing it. Set a fire down in my heart, in my soul that I can't contain and I can't control. I want more of you, Lord. But only through this. The blood of Jesus, the blood of the Lamb, can we enter into this place? The songs minister to us, and we get into that place where there's nobody but you and God. And this morning, the song, it just pierced my heart only through the blood of the Lamb. In the Old Testament, we knew how the lambs were. But Jesus is our lamb. But those lambs died. But our lamb was resurrected. And we can enter in. And as we hold this, this body and this blood of Christ, we have to have the faith to believe that Jesus is who he said he is and believe what he did for us. Only through faith can we believe in that and believe and receive what God's word says in order to walk in that victory that Christ accomplished for us. So as we eat this bread and we drink this blood, we believe and receive what God says. We believe him for our healing. We believe him for our deliverances. We believe him, even our blind eyes being open to his word. Whatever prayer we ask in sincerity, believing, and we receive it. Lord Jesus, we come before you right now as we hold your body in our hand. And we hold your blood in our hand. That only through you that we are able to walk in this victory. Only through you that we are set free. Only through you and through your word that we are made whole. We are forgiven for our sins. Our past is no more. We are new creatures in you. So, Lord Jesus, we thank you this morning for the love that you had for us that kept us on the cross, that kept you on the cross in our place. And we thank you for this blood that was shed, every drop of blood that was shed that cleansed us from all unrighteousness. That we stand before you this morning, pure and holy in our hearts because of what you did. Nothing that we could have done, only because of the love that you showed for us. We thank you. We praise you. We honor your holy name. As we eat of your body, and we drink of your blood, in your holy name, amen. Is my, is my voice still on? 
I don't know who this is for. I'm gonna, I got to talk to that cameraman. I don't know who you are. You're, you're, you have a ministry. You have ministries. I don't know what it is, but it, they're falling apart, and they're going to keep crumbling. Minister, whoever you are, <clears throat> you're going to see this, and you're going to know I'm talking to you. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> so, uh, <clears throat> Anne, daughters. You have how many daughters? Three. One of them about ready to move. Is one of them moving somewhere? And she's moving? Is somebody moving? One of your daughters moving? What about your sister? I had both of them in my spirit. Your daughter and I didn't know which one it was. <clears throat> okay, I'll just, I'll just pray about it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm with you. <laughs> God bless you guys. See you Thursday. <laughs>